What's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to cut copper pipe in today's video tutorial and prep it for soldering. I'm going to share with you a lot of different tools I think you should be aware of and I'm going to give away one of them at the end of this tutorial. So let's get to it. I'm super stoked to share what I know and hopefully it'll help you out with your project. Let's get to it. Here are a lot of copper pipe cutting tools. I'm going to get into all of them. I'm going to be very quick, so take some notes or just hit the stop button. But this, this first one is the auto cut tool. Now you can buy this at, I want to say, Home Depot, and it says auto cut on the side. It's orange and gray. And what's cool about it is the cutting wheel is spring loaded. It's in the center there. And what you do is you clamp it onto your copper pipe. Now this is a half inch auto cut tool and there's an arrow on it showing you what direction to turn the tool so again you just this is a half inch copper pipe so you clamp the auto cut tool down onto the copper pipe and you turn it in the direction of the arrow so I'm doing this real time I'm not speeding up the video because I want to show you how quickly the auto cut tool cuts the copper pipe and this is a pretty sweet tool for tight spaces like under sinks or when pipes are right up against joists or studs, this is great because it cuts quickly and easily. So as you can see, that was pretty quick. The second kind of tool is this brass craft large diameter mini tube cutter. And what makes it so cool is it's adjustable. So unlike the auto cut tool, which only cuts half inch and you have to buy a new auto cut tool if you want to cut one inch or three quarter inch copper pipe, you can adjust this brass craft mini tube cutter. The only problem is it takes a little bit of time. It takes a lot longer in my opinion and you have to adjust it. It cuts up to or one eighth up to one and one eighth inch copper pipe. So here's a three eighth inch copper pipe. You can cut that no problem. But the auto cut tool again like I said I only have a half inch auto cut tool so I'd have to buy a three quarter inch auto cut tool which brings me to the Lennox cutting tube cutters. So this is a kit and it has three different sizes tube cutters half inch three quarter inch and one inch again they have arrows on the side that show you what direction to turn the tube cutting tool so again it doesn't take very long at all to cut that copper pipe pretty sweet and again the cutting wheel is spring loaded so all you have to do is line up where, where you want to cut the copper pipe with the center of the tool, that little line there the, with the arrow, and that way you can start cutting immediately. So just make sure you line up the copper pipe uh, like I showed you a second ago. But again, this doesn't take very long at all. This is three quarter inch type L copper pipe to cut right through it. The mother of all tube cutters, in my opinion, is the rigid number 15. It's it's uh, model number 15. It cuts 3 16 the 1 and 1 8 inch size pipe. It'll cut EMT conduit along with copper pipe. And it comes with a spare cutting wheel. And it has a lifetime warranty. So that's pretty cool. You'll have this forever if you buy this and put it in your toolbox. The only thing is, it's so strong it can compress copper pipe. I'm not super bad. All I did was turn ratchet down on the pipe and it compressed it too much. So you have to be careful. You only need to compress it slightly and turn it. There's a cutting wheel at the top there and rollers on the bottom that the, the pipe slides along or rolls along. And the extra cutter is in the handle, the extra cutting wheel. Now the cool thing about the number 15 is it comes with a reamer. And this little triangular shaped part here, this reamer actually after you cut the copper pipe, which I'll show you here, it's very easy to do, uh, you, you want to ream out the inside of it because when you cut the pipe, whether it's with an auto cut tool or the rigid number 15, there's a little bit of a lip and that lip needs to be reamed out and removed otherwise you'll have turbulence in the pipe which can cause pitting and loudness. When you're done, use this kind of wire brush. This is a copper pipe cleaning brush which will clean the outside of the copper pipe. See how shiny it is? That's really important. And also, it'll clean the inside of the copper pipe which is equally important if you're going to be soldering. So use this kind of wire brush. I highly recommend it because it serves dual action for cleaning both the outside and inside of the copper pipe. You'll really, really like it. It's worth the money and it'll save you uh, a ton of time by making your solder job really good. 
Well, there you go. Those are all the different kinds of copper pipe tube cutters and different tools that you should be aware of. I hope that you like this video. Remember, I'm going to be giving away one of these tools and it's a surprise. So head on over to homerepairtutor.com, check out the latest tutorial and you'll see which one I'm going to be giving away and you'll have a chance to get it. All right, so if you did like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button. That way you'll be able to see all my videos moving forward. You won't miss any tips. And while you're over on Home Repair Tutor, subscribe to the email newsletter because that way you'll be aware of all the giveaways because sometimes I don't mention them over here on YouTube and I wouldn't want you to miss out. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.